America's next great restaurant. America's next great restaurant, Bolita Bistro. Oh my God, George! George, get up, George. It's time for us to become America's next best great restaurant. Uh, I grew up in Long Island, Lindenhurst, Long Island. Uh, my mom and dad and my sister. Back in 1976, I think this was like my first week home uh, from the hospital. I'm going to show you a little photograph of myself with my grandmother and my brother. It's actually one of my favorite pictures. I have very few pictures of my grandmother, but this is me uh, in Columbia. We were raised here in Brooklyn, New York. We've been together nine years. We met back in 2001 at Date Bait, which is a speed dating function. Our goal, Bogota Bistro, the hottest restaurant in the United States. Hello, guys. Okay. So this is this is it. This is our baby. This is what we're talking about. This is America's next great restaurant right here. Come on in. Let's take a look. See the cooks in action. It serves that delicious food. And I'm going to introduce you to some of the dishes that we want to take across America. All right, these right here are empanadas. Empanadas are turnover pastries. This right here is the best dish in the house. Bandera Paisa. All right, this is the Colombian platter. Here is the best dessert in the house. Tres leches and three milks cake. But what I love about Farid, I think I love his, his honesty, his candor. It's just um, love for life. You don't meet too many people like him, you know. A lot of times his answers make, like, the brakes screech in a car, like in a room. It'll, like, turn the conversation in a, on its head, you know. But I kind of like that. I kind of like I encourage you to build momentum upon the experiences and the opportunities that are being presented to you because greater things are down the road for you, whether you see them today or not. Really great things can come your way if you really, really tap into what you're capable of doing. George, you need to let go of control, okay? Sure. Just be here now, let it go, let it flow, let it roll. I don't know if George's family is accepting of my relationship, but we've been together nine years. I'm sure they'd be more than happy if George were to find himself a nice girl somewhere. I'm sure they'd be thrilled. And I'm sure it's been a process for them to accept, to come to terms with the reality of what the situation is. I don't know. I think when I came out um, as being gay to my family, I think, you know, they were upset, initially upset. They felt like I was going to cause them embarrassment. I think they felt that um, I wasn't going to be able to provide grandkids. So hopefully within a year we'll have a newborn baby. And um, it's pretty ironic that we can adopt a baby as a gay couple, but yet we can't get married. So we are engaged. We got engaged a year ago. What do you want, a boy or a girl? The idea of a girl? Oh my god, I'm getting choked up over here. Oh, you don't want to be <laughs> leaving you? Like, I, like I'm putting so much passion into adopting this kid. Um, I'm saving money, I'm being faithful, I'm being loyal, I'm working really hard, I'm looking to develop an empire. I'm willing to leave a legacy so that whoever this kid is that comes in, I'm giving them everything that, that they might they might not have. Here we are in Coney Island, one of my favorite uh, landmarks in Brooklyn. The Coney Island, a must do is riding the cyclone. And this is something we always do when we come down here. We always start out, ride on the cyclone, then hit the beach for a Nathan's hot dog. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> I was to make this one with that bistro hot dog, I would add ahi, which is a spicy vinegar condiment, and sauteed onions with scallions, and I would top it with pieces of chicharron. Don't be fooled by appearances, don't be fooled by this candy apple in my hand. It's Even when we're having fun, we are always thinking business. We're thinking about the future, we're thinking about growth, we're thinking about revenue, we're thinking about our employees, we're thinking about our future family, and we're thinking about what we can do for you and what you can do for us. Should this venture come to pass, we are sitting on America's Great Restaurant. Greetings, you've reached Zotar, and I'm here to tell you your fortune. I see empanadas. I see arepas, I see arroz con pollo, I see bandeja paisa. Your restaurant, Bogota Latin Bistro, is America's next great restaurant. I sure hope you're ready to make some money and feed America delicious Latin food. If you'd like to know another fortune, please give me another quarter or I must close the curtain. Goodbye.